Happy Valentine's Day, gamers. And you want to know something that I love? I love Smash Bros. Ultimate. But when it comes to love, there is also hatred. And I won't lie, lately, I've been kinda hating this game. But when it comes to anything you love, there will always be good times and bad times. For example, the DLC is something that everybody loves, for the most part. But everyone hates Elite Smash. I have never heard a good thing about it. I'm not even kidding. So for today's video, I'll be explaining my love and hate for Smash Bros ultimate now when it comes to dlc i think it did more good than bad at the end of the day i mean yeah we did get steve probably one of the most broken characters ever in any smash bros game but that's besides the point dlc did the one thing that every smash game does and that's introducing you to a brand new game if it wasn't for the dlc i never would have heard of the persona series dragon quest fatal fury and that just opened my eyes to seeing what these characters are about every character is filled with so much personality except Byleth, she's just kind of boring, respectfully. But regardless of that, every character is damn near perfect. And when it comes to cost, I think it's worth it, because each character is only like $6. But if you're a big spender and have like $25 on you, you can get all the characters from Pass 1 and Pass 2 for like $50 total. So imagine buying the game again. At the end of the day, the DLC is pretty worth it, at least to me. But now we move on to why the DLC is also dog sh Example number one, Min Min is a boring ass character. She has no swag, no style, no finesse. I don't know what it is that she's missing. Even though she is a DLC character, she doesn't have that factor of a DLC character. Does that make sense? Like you can tell with every other character you had to pay for him, but with Min Min, she should have been a base roster character. Example number two, Banjo Kazooie is actually a sleeper character in the worst way imaginable. I feel like just everything about him is boring and not respectfully. Like he's a cool character, but the way he plays is just lame. I don't know, man. It should have been Crash Bandicoot. And finally, Steve. Yes, of course. Even though Steve really did change the meta of this game, I will say it is more entertaining to watch him rather than Min Min and Banjo. But when it comes to DLCs, characters aren't the only new thing that are added in. We also end up getting buffs and nerfs for certain characters. But then something really weird happened and a lot of the DLC characters were never nerfed at all. You want to know why? Because as soon as Sora was released for the public, Nintendo really said, I'm going to leave this game to rot. And they did so. As soon as they did that, I knew that was the beginning of the end for online and just everything Smash Ultimate in general. Because it was. Nintendo was really weird when it comes to supporting their own games. I really don't get it. But at the end of the day, DLC really did more good than bad. But now the effects are becoming irreversible, especially by them not updating the game after Sora's release. Let's start with the good things that Smash Online does, because there's only like two. The first one I want to talk about is arenas. Arenas are the only reason why I play online, because I don't lose any GSP, and I can play with whoever I want. I think overall, it's a way better experience than Elite Smash Online. And another good thing about the online scene, surprisingly enough, are the in-game tournaments. I think the tournaments that Smash Ultimate provides us is a good backup plan if you don't end up having anybody to play with online, because for the most part, the rules set is pretty competitive based so you won't be getting any items or anything like that and you don't have to lose any GSP or deal with elite smash bullshit but now we move on to why online is absolutely horrible as always the first thing that pops into my head are the laggy matches the GSP system disconnections and not gaining any GSP and can we all agree that the GSP system is worthless and stupid yes Yes! It would have made sense if they had a four glory mode in Smash Ultimate to then have a ranking system, but to have a ranking system solely based for Elite Smash it is just really weird to me. They should have had a casual mode and a four glory mode. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the online experience for Smash Ultimate, I can only say this, only play arenas. I also wanted to add on how arenas actually helped me connect with the viewers when I first started streaming on here. So shout out to arenas for that. 
Custom content for Smash Ultimate obviously has its downsides. We have people making down bad custom stages and videos, and there's no way that Nintendo didn't see this one coming. But even though 20% of all the custom stages and content is degenerate shit, it doesn't compare to all the great stuff that we can see on Smash Ultimate. For example, these are some of the stages that I saved from online because they really caught my attention. I just love the attention to detail with such limited stuff to use for the online maker. I have no idea how half of these stages are even a thing, but the fact that we're getting all of this stuff for free, it feels illegal in some way. And you can never forget the custom mod videos that people actually upload for this game. This is what Smash would look like if they actually cared about the game and they didn't take down every video that had a mod in it. I feel like nowadays, especially with Smash Ultimate being such an old game, custom stages are very overlooked and not many people are even talking about it. People just keep getting better when it comes to creating new stages. So whenever you have time, definitely check out the custom stages. But enough about me, let's ask what you guys think about the game. I made a community post on YouTube saying what you love and hate about Smash Ultimate and this is what you guys had to say. Natty says, oh that's easy. I love it when you lose and I hate it when you win. All right, off to a great start. Cub says, I love the inclusion of Sephiroth and Joker also introducing me to the Persona series. I agree with that. He also says, I hate Min Min and Olimar. I understand the hate for Min Min, but Olimar, leave my boy out of this. Driver says, I love Aegis, but I hate Kazuya. I think it's the other way around for me. Jtoon says that he loves the new Squad Strike game mode, but the thing that he hates about Smash Ultimate is the World of Light is a massive disappointment when comparing to Subspace. And also, online doesn't provide Squad Strike. Yeah, I feel like an online Squad Strike is a huge missed opportunity. Brent says that I love the fact that Smash exists, it's one of the best platform fighters, if not the best, and I genuinely enjoy playing the game. And something that he hates is how toxic the player base can be. And I agree with that, 100%. Eternal Love says, I love when you stop talking, and I hate when you don't stream. Interesting. Jvolt says, I love seeing Trill lose, and I hate seeing Trill win. Bro, what is up with these comments? But he has a genuine answer. I love Stage Builder. The custom stages that some people make are better than some base game maps. Not a fan of the weird ones, though. You know what I mean. Yeah, I, I sadly do. I hate the rest of the online online experience in general. There's always some degree of lag, GSP is a weird ass system, arenas with like more than 3 people get laggy as hell, and I can vouch for that, we play arenas all the time and it's horrible. Crown Blue says, I love when I win, but I hate when I lose, same here. He also says, I love Pac-Man and Smash, but I hate no Hollow Knight in Smash. True! Switch out Pac-Man for Hollow Knight any day though. Sky Raccoon says, the netcode, yeah, the online is absolutely horrible. Link says, I love the way they made Link more fun to play, with the new bomb tricks. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool that they implemented the Breath of the Wild mechanics in there. But Link also says, I hate how poorly the Zelda series is done in Smash Ultimate. Has less characters than Fire Emblem, and less songs than a DLC series. All of the movesets are outdated. There are three Link clones, all with the lame movesets, two of which have a game copy and paste Final Smash. Zelda is still bottom tier. Ganondorf has some bizarre made up moveset. When they tried to change it, they have him with a non-canon sword from Space world demo with Ike's and Cloud's final smashes. Super Coma says, I love the hero gameplay and this channel. Thank you, I appreciate that. But they also say, I hate Pisra and Midra and Banjo-Kazooie players. W take. 8 says, I love Wii Fit and I hate Falco. Not biased at all because I main Wii Fit and have always lost to Falco. Yeah, I have a bracket demon as well and his name is King Dedede. Ramlop says, I hate online's lag and I love the cheese that you can come up with. With a bit of creativity, thinking outside the box, it opens up so many outcomes it's funny. Especially when it comes to pro players or people that are really dedicated to this game. They end up making combos on the fly. Ultra says, I love that Sonic is in the game, but I feel like he's poorly represented, unfortunately. His moveset is lacking, his skins are whack, he has two stages that look the same, and he only has 20 songs this time, with Right There, Right On from Sonic Rush being cut between games. He didn't even get any new remixes. Yeah, when it comes to Sonic, the moveset definitely should have been changed. I mean, spin dashing is cool, but when it's every move, that is just unfortunate. But I didn't know that they cut songs. I'm surprised that they did. They should have added more, if anything. Omir says, I love that the game exists. 
but he hates how awful the player base is. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword when you end up liking this game. Bam Bamo says, I hate the fictional embodiment of heavy characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I absolutely love the silliness of the hit character hero, base, and I also enjoy the screenshot feature as well. It makes for cool pictures if you know what you're doing. Yeah, I feel like screenshot never really gets a mention on how awesome that tool can be, especially if you're a content creator and making thumbnails. In the final comment, I see Dom Dalla, and he says, I love the particle effects in this game. I play Hero and Lucas, so I see them on a display a lot, and they really killed it. Also, the roster is filled with fun and unique characters. I hate how Ike's new voice lines and alt sound, like he's holding back. Listen to the old ones, they're so much better. Another issue is how some characters do not fit the source material at all, for no apparent reason. Luigi and Ganondorf do not fight like how they do in their home series at all. Ness and Lucas can't learn the majority of the spells that are used in Smash Ultimate. Lucas can't use any of them, actually. And Roy went from a depressed 15-year-old who was very smart to a screaming schizophrenic man. Man, what a downgrade. Now, at the end of the day, I still love this game no matter what. But for how much time has passed ever since I first started playing the game, slowly but surely, I'm feeling less enthusiastic about even trying it out anymore. I still plan on playing and making content on this game, but unless we get a huge update, such as a DLC or buffs and nerfs for certain characters, my love for this game is slowly fading away. And with that being said, I hope you all have a great Valentine's. Make sure you tell someone you love them. If you haven't yet, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, because that really does help out the channel, and it would mean so, so, so much to me. And as always, a huge shout out to all my current members on my YouTube channel. Your support really does mean a lot to me, and it goes a long way. And if you would like to support the channel, check out the membership options. But with that being said, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Adios.